Hello everybody, this is Lotus Animations, and continuing on with my 2D animation tutorial, I am going to teach you guys the shape key for your facial features in your rig. Now if, you know, if you've noticed, I have added eyebrows just to have something else to mess with. Um, so let's get right on into it. So to do shape, tees, shape keys, you're going to have to go over to this little button and right down here is shape keys. Select your head and hit add. Now this is your basis. Never mess with the basis unless you want to mess with every bit of shape key you've ever made. So first things first, add a shape key. Then you're going to decide what you want to mess with. Um, to start things off, I'm going to show you how to open and close an eye. Um, so I'm just going to do left, always make sure that you name everything, left eye opens, oops, open slash closed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump my value up to one, okay, hit tab to go into edit mode, and then I'm just going to select, oops, not that, that vertice, if it'll let me, there we go, that vertice, all my eye vertices. Okay. And so I will drag this eye behind the head. And then I'm going to grab this vertice and drag it really far. Oop, not that vertice. And drag it really far forward. And doesn't matter because you're in orthographic mode. If you remember from my last tutorial, it won't make a difference, it won't change any sizes or anything. Now you're going to hit tab, go into your front view again, and now you're going to notice that eye moves back and you're going to be like, what the heck, I thought it was supposed to um, be open and closed. Now when I have a closed eye, I also have an open eye, that's okay. Just go to your minimum value and change this to a negative one. And so now, you have an eye open, you have an eye closed. And so that's really easy to animate, because rather than going up here, finding through all your rig, finding your head, going through, hiding and not hiding, now you can just be like, okay, his eye needs to be open here, next frame, it's going to be blinked. And just hit I over that little number value bar, and it'll set a keyframe. So now, ta-da, he also moves because I still have my animation from last time. Awesome. And so you're just going to keep doing things like that to do shape keys. Add another shape key, we'll do um, left eyebrow. Um, we'll do a rotation. Um, angry slash surprised. Why not? And then we'll just do max value, grab your eyebrow, and then give him a little bit of an angry brow, and then there you go. And if you want it to be a surprise, just do a negative one on your minimum value. Oh no, he's surprised now. And then it's all there. And then you can do the same thing that I did with the eyes with the mouths. Um, so what you do is add a shape key, do mouth um, closed slash ooh, because that's what I named it. Go into one, go into edit mode drag this one back and then grab the ooh which is right there I really should have pulled that further forward did I get it I don't know if I did we got one side deselect this and drag it really far forward and then hit tab, put this at a negative one value. I just hit delete, didn't I? I don't know what I hit. I 
think it's okay. Okay. And then you do the same thing with this one. Actually, you can just make the... Yeah, you... Oh, select the head. Then... Oh, always make a new shape key before you touch anything. Mouth... Close... Slash... Laugh, maybe? I don't know what that is. Go to one. You're back to your bases. And so... Drag this one back behind the head. Deselect it. Grab... Your laughing... Feature. And pull it really far forward. Okay, now when you hit one... Add laugh, and then type in negative one. You have closed mouth. Ta-da! And so basically, you're just gonna do that, and then you can have all your head facial features right in the shape key. You never have to go look for anything. Um, and that's basically it. I'm trying to think of anything you can use shape keys for. Uh, you can do a. I might as well do it on this eye. We'll do. Um, I just want to show off every feature you can do with shape key. Right eye, small slash large. Not large. Put this up to one. Tab. Grab your eye. One and scale it down. Hit tab, and now you can. Well, shoot! If you wanted to go negative one, you could even make it bigger. Whoosh! That isn't that cool. Um. Now you do have to be careful with shape keys. They can alter your rig sometimes, especially with rotation. Um, they'll scale it and stuff like that um, but I really think that's all I need to cover with shape keys definitely easy to use while um, rigging and oh I never did weight paint my eyebrows did I maybe I should do that now that's that was just things I added um, everything else moves with the rig. See my eyes. If I go back, hit my head, and do my mouth. Oh, it's not weight painted right either. I didn't really take much time to weight paint my head, but um, still, it works. See my eyes still open and close. Um, everything works. You can do. Um, Oh, another thing you can do. Might as well do it. Gotta show you guys all the possible things. Um, add in the shape key. Right. I. Left. Slash. Right. Once again, value to one. Hit tab. Move it to the right. Hit tab. And now you can move his eye around. And you're just going to have to take time and do it through your full rig um, but it is the same steps over and over and I feel like that's a much easier way to make your eyes blink and you can have much more control over things but now and it does it doesn't matter with um, rigs which is nice um, you can just it stays with the head no matter what so thanks for watching guys this has been Lotus animations hopefully you all have a really nice rig now um, please leave me comments on what you want to see me do next um, because everything I do depends on what you guys want so um, like favorite subscribe this has been Lotus animations and I'm out see you later